Hey guys, and welcome to Slash Race Games. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, slightly alter sprites, the sprite images, um, in code. So, for example, if you have a game that requires many sprites, all of which are the same, but each one has to be slightly different, then instead of creating like 20, you know, of the same sprite with different alterations, you could just um, load in the same sprite and then alter it in the draw. Okay, so here, for example, I've got my sprite logo over there, and object, object logo, here we go in its create, I've just set it to the middle of the room that's just this object, and then in the draw I've got several different types of alterations here, so I'm going to go through them with you and you can check them out, so alteration over here, original sprite so this is just the one that's set um, sprite logo it's set to whatever image index we've loaded over there and um, room width divided by 2, that's just the center of the x and the center of the y axis and over here, it's keeping the exact scale um, and the image angle as it is over here, exactly the same as that. Then uh, here we've got C white, which is just uh, no alteration to color. It's exactly the same. And then image alpha is um, completely opaque, so it's not transparent in any way. That's the first one. Here I've given it the title Original Sprite. We'll check that out. That'll be right in the middle of the room. Then the second alteration of, well, first alteration here. Um, here, check this out. We put a, a negative. It's negative sign in front of the x scale. So what this does is it uh, reflects on the x axis. All right. So all that's changing is the reflection on the x axis. Everything else is exactly the same. Um, second alteration here is just reflection on the y. Notice that the y now has a negative over here. Let's check that out. Negative sign on the y. All right. Um, here we go. The next alteration here. Image x scale. Image y scale divided by two. Here we're halving the scale on, on each the image. Uh, X scale and Y scale will be half, so that image will be half the size of the original. Okay, then this one, um, transparency. Here all we're doing is changing the image alpha from the, you know, this would be 1. Instead of just normal image alpha, you can put 1. Uh, but we wanted to keep the same image alpha as the sprite we're loading. So in this case, we're giving it 0.5, which is half. So it's going to be half transparent, half of it, you know, like that. And then here we go, co uh, color overlay. Instead of having C white over here, we've put in C red. So C white um, just means no color. It's just, it's just as as is here in the sprite. But if we put a color here, then it's going to have like a red tinge over it. And then the last one here, we've just got a simple rotation. If you look here at the bottom here, it's uh, X scale, Y scale, then rotation over here. We've given it five degrees. Over there, it's pretty simple. Okay, so let's check this out. All right, so here is the final product. Our original sprite here is in the middle, nothing's changed, we've just got it in the center of the room, that's as it is, um, loading it in there, exactly the same image. Alright, then here's the second change, we've got the negative and the image x, x scale, so that's an x reflection. Notice how the left is on the right and the right is on the left, see? And then here, the y reflection, it's just upside down, um, we put the negative sign on the image y scale, remember that, and that'll uh, switch it around upside down. Okay, then we've got the transparency here. Image alpha equals 0 0.5. Remember, we put 0 0.5 there instead of 1 or image alpha, which would give it a whatever this image alpha of the loaded in file is. Okay, so as you can see, it's slightly transparent. It's not as bright as this one. Okay, then the image x scale divided by 2, image y scale divided by 2. That's the half, so we're halving it there. So this would be 1, and that would be 1, and then divided by 2 is half. Half scale. It's quite tiny. Then the rotation, this is 5 degrees. Um, notice rotation, it's uh, anti-clockwise rotation. You put a minus in front of it if you wanted it clockwise. Just remember that. And then here's the cover, color overlay. Whatever we have in C color, in this case we put C red, and there it is red. All these other ones are C white. Notice they're exactly the same as the loaded in image, color wise. So that's pretty much um, how to slightly alter the sprite in a draw event using that uh, draw sprite ext. Well, thanks for watching this tutorial. No, it was quite short, um, but I hope you've learned something today. And if you liked it, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Well, thanks for watching.